So, as most of we know, most of the top tier fighters in this game right now are quick and speedy, but what is really the reason for that, and why can't somebody slow but powerful take the spotlight as of now? Well, hopefully I'll answer that question for you today, and with that said, let's get this started. Well, the first thing I would like to cover is that the main reason for this phenomenon is the fact that the way we play the game is all based upon speed and positioning. You most quickly catch up to your opponents, run away, attack, combo, all these things are really based off speed, and what does speed allow you to do more easily? Position yourself. Now, what I mean by all this is that it allows you to get to where you need to be faster, and when you're there earlier, you have a lot more options. And if you're there slower, then you're really committed to a single way of approaching or retreating. But let's say you are Bowser and your foe is Pikachu. Of course, you are much slower, so if you do want to get to a key position on the map, you'll probably lose and it'll take you a lot more time. Now, an example of key positioning would be the middle of the map away from all the edges and all the cliffs. Now, he will of course get there faster than you, and that means that you must approach him, and at that point he can attack, he can defend, he can use a special, or he can do pretty much anything. He has a lot more options than you. Now, this is a very specific example, but can apply to most portions of the game. Most of the time, a faster person will be able to choose the pace of the game, and the slower one must follow, or else be straight up camped and lose. Now, the next fact, other than the fact that I previously said, is the fact that faster fighters can often make more mistakes than small mistakes and really not be punished as badly because of the fact that they have less ending lag and that they can control their mistakes afterward a lot easier with more air mobility. Now, if you are a heavy, slow-hitting foe and you miss a single attack in the air, it can really lead into the enemy having a lot of time and be able to treat you as combo food. While a miss fair from Sheik or Luigi really can't be treated as much as an opportunity to give your opponent huge damage. Faster people can just throw out so much more, so much faster, and with much less risk involved with every single hit. Now, they don't get as much reward as a very strong hit, but the risk to damage ratio is often in faster foes' favors. And the third thing is that most fast characters do have a lot more air mobility and can really easily get out of a lot more situations than a slower character. If you see a bad time coming in your future as a Sheik player, you can usually just hold back and move fast through the air or use a bouncing fish to get away, but if you see the same problem as a Ganondorf, you'll probably be in very big trouble. Also, slower players are usually heavier, making them get stuck in combos for a longer time while having much less air mobility to boot, while faster, lighter fighters can really get out of a lot of these combos with their mobility or just with their less weight, which makes them get hit a little bit too far. So these are some of the main reasons why I feel like this game really does support playing a speedy Gonzalez, and while they're usually generally better in Smash 4 as far as tier say, now I hope this did give you a little bit of insight into why it seems like a lot of time, speed does equal spot in the tier list in most of the tier lists. Now of course this is all from my point of view, so make sure to tell me what you all think of the subject. And finally, just because speed is good, that doesn't mean that slow fighters are inherently bad. Most of them have very big pros about them that do make up for a lot of the speed issues, so there's that. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to press that like button and subscribe, and also comment down your opinion below. I'd really like to see all you guys' opinions, and I'll see you all next time.